Hi guys, this is Saurav here and welcome to online partshala Vedantu's initiative to make education accessible to everybody. Kya hal chale bhai aap logo ka? How are you guys doing? Please let me know in the comment section. Uh, you might be knowing that we have finished liquid solutions and uh, which is also known by the name colligative properties. Humne ye chapter pura complete kar liya hai. Last session was uh, on uh, non-ideal solutions and I had explained it in detail that what is the meaning of a azeotropic mixture and azeotropic mixture samajna it's not very difficult it was pretty easy you uh, read about it you learned it i hope you have found that lecture to be like the bridge between your ability to not understand azeotropic mixture to understand a, a, a azeotropic mixture that video must have made a difference so aaj ke session mein what we will be doing we'll be taking some questions uh, which are very relevant for the level of mains examination we'll try to solve them and uh, i'd expect you to sit with a pen and a paper uh, with a non-programmable calculator if possible so that you can solve the questions as quickly as possible hello abhishek hello tarun uh, hello khushi <coughs> so uh, hello ashuta telegram link is not working uh, please uh, please do write over there hello pratiksha uh, that telegram link is not working we'll look into it i'll pass on the message to the technical team but please do uh, uh, join us please do uh, join the telegram group so that you can put your doubts and you can have a discussion with your fellow peer group so as to get them resolved in real time okay and <clears throat> uh, also it is very very vital that you like share and subscribe a channel the video you press the notification bell so that you're updated with all the awesome content we are gonna bring all a lot of new things maybe bahut jaga pe sirf classes hoti hai hum log bahut sara new cheez karne wale hai and uh, you should not miss out on that okay so the advance today's discussion is primarily based on the level of questions which come in mains examination next session jo hoga, that will be discussion based on uh, questions of the advanced level okay so next would be advanced uh, I, I didn't get you anushka kulkarni when it is advanced i didn't get you uh, anyhow the plan is aaj ka session jo rahega, wo mains ke relevant questions ke upar discussion rahega, and the next session would be on questions which are more relevant for advanced okay <clears throat> chalo bahut achhi baat hai tap face uh, chalo very good so let's start today's session let's start today's session and today's session the first question is this you can look at the question the question is the solution of one mole of benzoic acid in 15 moles of benzene produces a relative lowering of 1 upon 31 molar mass of benzene molar mass of benzoic acid in benzene now i had told you earlier in the topic while we are discussing Venthoff factor that benzoic acid is a carboxylic acid the moment we put that thing in water it dissociates but when we put that thing in a non-polar solvent it associates so it is important to know that ben in benzene is a non-polar solvent it is benzoic acid so ye dissociate karne ki jaga ye associate karega aur iska pata hame chalta kaise how do i make uh, make sense of the fact that from the information it is association let's look into the solution some people have already given the answers and i'm very very happy for them that it's very nice that you have given the answer very very quickly to dekhte hain kaise pata chalta hai so what we can see over here is one mole of benzoic acid and 15 moles of benzene uh, so what we can write mole fraction of benzoic acid from the information what is given will be 1 upon 1 plus 15 that should be 1 plus 1 by 16 hamara mole fraction kitna hona chahiye 1 upon 16 for benzoic acid however what is given the relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to 1 upon 31 now you know that this is equal to the mole fraction of solute which is nothing but mole fraction of benzene uh, sorry benzoic acid 
so the observed the observed one is or the observed mole fraction of benzoic acid is 1 upon 31 while the calculated we can call this calculated is from calculated bol sakte hai aram se so it calculated hai and ye observed hai observed 1 upon 31 hai ye calculated hai to aap dekh rahe hai ki ye reduce ho raha hai what is the value of i kya hum bol sakte hai value of i how to calculate i i would be calculated in this manner that rl vp will be equal to i times the mole fraction of benzoic acid which you are which you have calculated which you have calculated rlvp will be 1 upon 31 which is given i times how much you have calculated 1 upon 16 so i turns out to be 0.5 now i had told you earlier ki, no this is not of advanced level okay <coughs> advanced level nahi, bohut simple sa sawal hai. so i ki value 0 0.5 are here now if it is association association ke liye i ki value hamesha 1 se kam rahegi i will be always less than 1 when it is association but if it is dissociation i will be more than 1 so you can see that i is 0 0.5 if i take 0 0.5 into consider that means half of whatever has been taken has underwent what ha whatever has been taken has underwent association ideally molecular weight of benz benzoic acid is 122 lekin agar dissociation apne associate kar diya so what is happening the the amount of benzoic acid which is like associated will obviously increase aapko karna kya hai ki whatever is given you will divide it by i so the observed molecular weight observed molecular weight will be calculated upon i so 122 upon 0.5 you'll get the answer as equal to 244 you'll get the value as equal to 244 there's one another way of doing it jaise aapka i nikal jata hai you use this formula this is benzoic acid let's say C6H5COOH. This is an equilibrium with C6H5COOH. Now, if this you take this as 1 minus beta, is called beta by N. <coughs> okay, so this is very, very easy. You can use this equation as well so as to calculate the observed molecular weight. The observed molecular weight can also be calculated using the previous argument that observed molecular weight is equal to calculated upon I. Okay. So <clears throat> let's move on to the next question. So I hope everybody has calculated the answer has to be 244. It is association, so increase kar ja raha hai. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. Okay. Let's look on to the next question. 15 gram of solute in 100 gram of water makes the solution freeze at minus 1 degree Celsius. Okay. 15 gram of solute and 100 gram of water makes the solution freeze at minus 1 degree Celsius. We have already learned that when we add a solute to water, the freezing point decrease karega and boiling point will increase if the solute is non-volatile. <coughs> so, if 30 gram of same solute is added to 100 gram of water what is the depression in freezing point what is the depression freezing point okay so please do identify kaise hoga bahut simple sa sawal hai it's very very simple anushka correct rahul correct darshan correct <laughs> karke hai yaar. Okay. Answer pada nahi hai. Abhishek Gupta, no, the answer is not. Mamta, answer, Mamta is correct. Dipankar, correct. Manas, Pratiksha. Very good. 
Okay, now <coughs> let's look at let's look at what you are missing out. Okay, let's look at what you are missing out. सबने आंसर तो दे दिया कि आंसर इज ए चलो ए समझ लेते हैं हुसो एवर इज नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेरी सिंपली वॉट इज गिवन एज द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट डेल टी एफ इज इक्वल टू के बी टाइम्स मोलैलिटी के बी टाइम्स मोलैलिटी वेयर मोलैलिटी इज रिटर्न एज वेट अपॉन मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ सोल्यूट आई कैन राइट दिस थिंग एज वेट ऑफ सोल्यूट अपॉन मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ सोल्यूट टाइम्स वेट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इन के जीज ये हमारा फॉर्मूला होता है दिस इज डेल टी एफ ओके दिस इज डेल टी एफ नाउ लेट्स लुक एट वॉट हैज हैपन्ड Am I changing? Can you please answer me quickly? Am I changing the molecular weight of the solute? मैंने solute change किया No. So molecular weight of the solute is not changing. Molecular weight of the solute is not changing. Weight of solvent. Weight of solvent. Am I changing the weight of solvent? No. 30 gram is added to 100 gram. Earlier also 100 gram of solvent was taken. So solvent weight is also not changing. What is changing is weight of solute. so if you increase the weight of solute if you increase the weight of solute del tf will change del tf is proportional to weight of solute earlier it freezes at minus 1 can you tell me agar freezing point is minus 1 then del tf is equal to 1 isn't it del tf is equal to 1 Freezing point is given. Del T F is not this one. Del T F is always positive. Yad rakho. Del T F is always positive. This is minus one, which is the freezing point of the solution. So Del T F is one. Del T F is one. Okay. So if I double the concent amount of solute, देखो पहले कितना था? Fifteen gram. So fifteen gram is proportional to one degree of depression. So thirty gram will be proportional to two degree of depression. what is being asked depression is being asked it is not asking what is the final freezing point it is not asking the freezing point so anybody who has given the answer as a is wrong okay the right answer is d okay isiliye language of the question is important language of the question is important so whenever you see a question just don't jump into the solution ki bhai aapne dikh raha hai minus 1 yahan pe minus 2 15 hai yahan pe 30 hai to minus 2 ha answer likh dete hain aisa nahi hona chahiye theek hai so a number of people have made mistakes uh, a, like ek line se mistake hua hai jitne bhi sabhi ne a likha hai a wrong hai kyunki it is asking about depression guys okay so depression pucha hai depression hamesha positive rahega theek hai डिप्रेशन विल ऑलवेज बी पॉजिटिव ठीक है सो डिप्रेशन आपका फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट जीरो से नीचे हो सकता है लेकिन डिप्रेशन जो रहेगा वो पॉजिटिव ही रहेगा ठीक है अरे डिफरेंस पॉजिटिव रहता है यार डिफरेंस इज पॉजिटिव और हम डिफरेंस देखो जीरो से डिक्रीज कर रहा है सो आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग कितना डिक्रीज कर रहा है आई एम ओनली कैलकुलेटिंग दैट ओके I am only calculating that. I cannot say that the decrease is negative. वो तो decrease negative हो गया तब तो वो positive हो जाएगा. Okay, if decrease is negative, that means it is nothing but increase. ठीक है? So the right answer should be D. I hope everybody has realized कि थोड़ा question को पढ़ो. Okay, if you don't read the question, you'll make end up making these mistakes. So let's move on to the next question. Let's move on to the next question. Uh, question is: A complex of iron and cyanide is hundred percent ionized in one molal concentration. Okay, if I take a one molal concentration solution, it is one hundred percent ionized. If the elevation in boiling point is two point zero eight degrees, then the complex is. कौन सा ये complex होगा? 
Anushka, it would be better if rather than solving the question, if rather than, uh, sorry, rather than answering the question, you solve the question by taking some time. Okay. You answer the question by taking some time. So, please do try to solve the question. So, what is written in the question? Complex is of iron and cyanide. Complex could be anything. Complex could be iron and cyanide. Complex is whatever is within this square bracket is made up of iron and cyanide. Okay. Us square bracket ke bahar kuch bhi rahe, we really don't care. We really don't care. Okay. Whatever is present inside the square bracket is composed of iron and cyanide. But whatever is present outside the square bracket, chemically we do not worry about that. We are only worried about the numbers. Okay. We are only worried about the numbers. So what we should do is in this scenario, I will take del TB is equal to I since I can see that they are talking about ionization. So it is important to know what is went off factor I times KB times molality. So molality is one. So I will be equal to 2.08 upon 0.52. 2.08 upon 0.52. So ye kitna ho jaga answer? I ki value kitni aari hai? Can you please tell me in the comment section that what is the value of I? Kitna aara hai ka value? What is the value of I? The value of I is 4. The value of I is 4. It means, it means if it is dissociation, then it is producing 100% dissociation. We have 4 ions. Mil rahe hain. Okay? 4 ions. Mil rahe hain. If, if the dissociation is occurring, then I am getting 4 ions. Now, can you tell me in which case I would be getting 4 ions? Whenever you see a compound like this, whenever you see a compound like this, you are only supposed to dissociate whatever is outside the square bracket and this part. So you are only allowed to separate that. Okay. Only allowed to separate them. Hitesh, it will be easy for you, but it is not easy for everyone. So it is important that if difficult question is done with a difficult question, so, सारे लोग सिर्फ difficult question ही कर लेते, okay? So we are supposed to dissociate. जब भी ऐसा कोई compound दिया गया है, this is known as a coordination compound. We are supposed to dissociate in this, it in this fashion. So three K plus plus one FeCN six three minus ion. This will dissociate to give four K plus plus. FeCN 6 4 minus so how many how many ions are being given out so 4 plus 1 5 ions are given out 3 plus 1 4 ions are given out and <clears throat> 4 plus 3 7 ions are given out 3 plus 2 5 ions are given out if I value is 4 the right answer should be B. <coughs> okay. भाई J में conceptual questions आते हैं. J में ऐसा नहीं है कि somebody who solves only super difficult questions will be getting rank one. ऐसा कुछ नहीं है. Okay. You are supposed to have a balance in everything. So medicines make you better. But if you ever or if अगर आप सारी चीजों के लिए दवाइयाँ खाते रहोगे so, your immunity will be reduced. So, it is important that you maintain a balance. The level of the main level is different. The level of the advanced level is different. So, for the advanced level, you need to work hard, have zero error policy. You need to be conceptually very strong. But it is not that you need to solve very difficult questions. You need to solve conceptual questions. That's it. Okay, so uh, Anushka, I didn't, 
I did not read 3 in the first complex. Yeah, you should have read. So the first complex is giving out 7 ions. I hope this is clear. Let's go on to the next question. The next question is this. Okay. This is a very easy question. Very, very easy question. Okay. This is a very easy question. Uh, a mixture contains 1 mole of volatile liquid and 3 moles of volatile, uh, mole, volatile liquid A and 3 moles of volatile liquid B. If the solution behaves ideally, what is the vapor pressure of the solution? Very simple question. Very, very simple question. Just look at the question. 1 mole of volatile liquid A whose vapor pressure is 100. 3 moles of volatile liquid B whose vapor pressure is... Okay, sorry. You should take this as... I'm sorry. You take this thing as... I guess... 50. Probably then only you'll get the answer. Take this thing as... 50. Okay, uh, rather than taking this as 100, you take this thing as 50 and let's see if you are getting the <clears throat> answer. Okay, so vapor pressure of solution will be equal to mole fraction of A times P naught of A plus mole fraction of B times P naught of B. Okay. Mole fraction of A times P naught of A times mole fraction of B times P naught of B. Let's see what is the answer that we are getting. Uh, so mole fraction of A will be 1 upon 4 times 100. And this will be 3 upon 4 times 50. Uh, Are you getting the what is the answer that you're getting this is 12.5 this is 25 25 plus this will turn out to be 50 plus turn out to be 87.5 uh, uh, if you take it as 100 what is the answer that you should be getting if you take it as 100 then you should be getting the answer as to be equal to 100 I hope there is some error with the this is uh, I am taking this vapor pressure is equal to 50 Okay, I'm not taking it as Okay, sorry, uh, just a moment So this will be 3 upon 4 times 50 And here will be how 12.5 it will be okay 37.5 if it is 37.5 uh, then this answer will be equal to 3 to 6 72.5 are you getting the answer is 72.5 Are you getting the answer as 72.5? Please tell me. Okay. Is there something wrong with the data? Please, uh, data is... Okay, let's go. Let's see it again. Suppose if you take 100, leke hi chalte hai, then what is going to happen? Then P solution will be equal to 1 upon 4 times 100. 3 upon 4 times 100. So 100 is coming here. I am pretty sure that this has to be something else. This... Uh, So 
सपोज वी टेक इट एज फिफ्टी फिफ्टी लेके ही सॉल्व करते हैं ओके आर यू गेटिंग सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव चलो हम सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव ले लेते हैं इसको हम पूरा कार्ड देते हैं इसको हम सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव ले लेते हैं देखिए क्वेश्चन में डेटा इनकरेक्ट हो सकता है ओके क्वेश्चन में डेटा इनकरेक्ट हो सकता है बट लेट्स नॉट वरी अबाउट दैट मेथड हमारा करेक्ट है तो ठीक है ठीक है सो डेटा इनकरेक्ट हो सकता है बट द आर पॉइंट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू नो द वे टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन ठीक है ना Our P total comes as to be 62.5. Let's remember that and let's try to work out the next question. Next question be इसी data के ऊपर based है and again I'm removing this. This is made 62.5 mm. This is made as equal to 50 and remove this. Okay, ignore this part. Ignore this part. The question is the mixture is Boiled, okay. The mixture is boiled. The solution behaves suddenly. Then what is the vapor pressure of the distillate? अगर हमने distillate ले लिया, then उसका vapor pressure क्या होगा? Okay. If I take the distillate, then what will be its vapor pressure? So what we are doing is we are boiling the solution. We are collecting some vapors and we collect those vapors and we measure the vapor pressure of the distillate. Okay. डिस्टिलेट इज समथिंग विच इज ऑप्टेन्ड डिस्टिलेशन के बाद जो लिक्विड मिल जाता है उसको बोलते हैं डिस्टिलेट प्लीज डू वॉच फ्रैक्शनल डिस्टिलेशन वीडियो वो हमने पहले किया है उसको उस उस पार्ट को यूज करके इसको सॉल्व करना है सो हाउ टू सॉल्व सच ए क्वेश्चन सो वेपर प्रेशर आई नो वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ सोल्यूशन टर्न आउट टू बी सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव एम एम ठीक है Isn't it? Now, I need to calculate mole fraction of mole fraction of a in vapor state. Earlier, the mole fraction which is given, ये liquid state के लिए mole fraction दिया गया है. Okay, it is given for liquid state. हमें vapor state में mole fraction निकालना है. तो वेपर स्टेट में मोल फ्रैक्शन हम डाल्टन लॉ यूज करके निकाल लेंगे ये अगर टोटल प्रेशर है एंड इसका पार्शियल प्रेशर इस दिस इज द प्रेशर ऑफ ए देन व्हाट इज द पार्शियल प्रेशर ड्यू टू ए पार्शियल प्रेशर ड्यू टू ए इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच 25 बिकॉज इट इज वन अपॉन फोर टाइम्स वन ये आपने निकाला था ओके okay? You had calculated partial pressure due to A as equal to 25, and the tot it is 25 is a part of this. So 25 upon 62.5 is the mole fraction of A in the vapor state. Okay, in the vapor state. Can you calculate this value? How much value is coming? 25 upon 62.5. What is the value that you are getting? Okay, this is not very difficult. We take a liquid, we boil it. जो vapor मिलता है, वो vapor दोनों की combination से. Okay, <coughs> are you getting it as 0.4? Okay, you are getting it as 0.4. So mole fraction of B. In the vapor state is how much? 0.6. Okay, 0.6. अब ये एक लिक्विड हो गया. इसको मैंने कंडेंस किया. I obtain a liquid which has 0.4 mole fraction of A. And 0.6 mole fraction of B. Okay, this was the vapor. I condense the vapor, obtain the liquid. The liquid will have the mole fraction of A as what is was in the vapor. So, ये 0.4, ये 0.6 हो गया. Now, ये liquid को हम evaporate करते हैं. We evaporate this liquid. What will be the vapor pressure? So vapor pressure फिर निकालने का तरीका एकदम सिंपल है 
times 100 plus 0.6 times 50. So this will be 40, 30, turn out to be 70. The right answer should be 70. Here there is no option. The right answer over here will be 70 mm of Hg. Okay. It's very very simple. Very very simple. What we are doing is we are taking the previous solution. Boiling it. Collecting the vapors. Vapors which I have collected. I condense them. I then boil this liquid. I then boil this liquid and calculate its vapor pressure. So, its vapor pressure comes as to be equal to 70. Okay? So, very simple question. But yeah, you have to read the question properly. The answer should turn out to be 70. Chaliye, next question. Pe chalte hai. The next question is nice. It's on apparent degree of dissociation. So, a off factor a question aagya. The question is on off factor. Let's look at the question. 0 0.004 molar solution of Na2SO4 is isotonic with 0 0.01 molar glucose at equilibrium. What is the apparent degree of dissociation? What is the observed? Apparent means observed degree of dissociation. How do we solve the question? Isotonic means, what is the meaning of isotonic? It means the osmotic pressure is alike. Osmotic pressure is equal. So, if I write, if I write osmotic pressure, osmotic pressure due to Na2SO4, it has to be equal to osmotic pressure due to glucose. Okay? Osmotic pressure has to be equal. Now, osmotic pressure is calculated as since Na2SO4 is an electrolyte, Na2SO4 is an electrolyte, I will multiply it with I times CRT for Na2SO4 and this will be written as I times CRT for glucose. Okay. Now, what is the Concentration of Na2SO4 given 0.004. What is the concentration of glucose given? 0.1. Glucose does not undergo dissociation. Glucose ka dissociation nahi hota to uske liye I ki value 1 hogi. Ab hum I value nikalenge. What is the value of I? Badaiye. What is the value of I? So it will be, <coughs> what is the value of I that you are getting? Very simple, kitna hona chahi I ki value? So getting the value of I is 2. I, I is 0.1 upon 00, zero sorry 0 0.01 upon this so I write 1000 over here I write 100 over here so 2.5 I turns out to be 2.5 so, okay I turns out to be 2.5 okay? now the real game starts Na2SO4 dissociates to give 2 Na plus plus SO4 2 minus okay 2 Na plus plus SO4 2 minus now what I'll do is concentration kitna liya gaya hai 0 0.004 initially 0 and 0 tha and finally 0 0.004 1 minus alpha 2 times 0 0.004 alpha 0 0.004 alpha okay this will be 
द फाइनल इक्वेशन बिकॉज इफ अगर मैंने एक मोल लिया इसका देन इट विल प्रोड्यूस टू मोल्स ऑफ दिस एंड वन मोल ऑफ दिस सो मैंने कितना लिया है पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फोर मोल्स इन वन लीटर एज्यूमिंग दैट्स टेकन इन वन लीटर सो वन माइनस अल्फा दिस विल बी टू टाइम्स दैट टू टाइम्स कंसेंट्रेशन टाइम्स अल्फा टू सी अल्फा ओके सो इफ आई राइट इफ आई एड ऑल ऑफ देम सो एडिंग फाइनल If I add all of them, I will get zero point zero zero four. Up common le lijiye. One minus alpha plus two alpha plus alpha. So one plus two alpha. One plus two alpha. Okay. Which will be equal to 2.5, which will be equal to 2.5. Using this, if you calculate, using this, if you calculate, what is the answer that you are getting? What is the answer that you are getting? That 2.5 तो easily हमने निकाल दिया ना I we calculated I initially we calculated I initially that I times concentration will be equal to uh, I times I times concentration of Na2SO4 will be equal to I times concentration of uh, glucose so that is how we have calculated it so we will get this equation अब इसको solve कर लो Okay, just need to calc. Uh, I think it should be. कितना आ रहा आपका? Anybody please calculate this. This is quite easy. Now इसके आगे तो आपको बस multiplication denominator में yes. Okay, so. Try to calculate this. In my opinion, the answer should come as to be between either A or B. Okay, between A or B के बीच में कोई answer होना चाहिए. But इसको calculate कीजिए. देखिए answer कितना आता है. Next question. Okay. Next question. Uh, the density of one molar solution of C6H12O6 is given as 1.18 gram per ml. The Kf of H2O is 1.86. Okay. Kf of H2O is 1.86. Then the freezing point of the solution is. We need to calculate the freezing point of the solution. Now remember that this is given as density. Uh, density of one molar. So I have to calculate molality. So molality needs to be calculated because del tf is equal to kf times molality okay we have to take use this formula so in this question you are given how do you convert molarity is number of moles by volume in liters and molality is number of moles by mass of solvent in kgs okay clear mass of solvent in kgs so in this scenario assume i'm asking to assume okay in this scenario Assume that the number of moles is one. हम number of moles को one ले लेते हैं and volume of solution को one liter ले लेते हैं. Okay? I take the volume of solution as one liter. Now यहाँ से मुझे molality निकालनी है. So can you tell me what will be the total mass of solution? Can you tell me total mass of solution? Total mass of solution. अगर one liter लिया है, then total mass of solution 
विल बी इक्वल टू वन वन एट जीरो ग्राम्स वन वन एट जीरो ग्राम्स मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट विल बी इक्वल टू वन वन एट जीरो माइनस माइनस मास ऑफ सोल्यूट अगर हमने एक मोल सोल्यूट लिया है सो माइनस वन एट्टी दैट विल बी वन थाउजेंड कितना आ गया वन के जी ओके वन के जी सो मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट वन के जी आ जा रहा है सो नंबर ऑफ मोल्स इज वन मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इज वन सो मोलैलिटी इज ऑल्सो वन सो मोलैलिटी इज ऑल्सो वन सो माई क्वेश्चन बिकम्स प्रेडी ईजी डेल टी एफ विल बी जस्ट इक्वल टू के एफ द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट विल बी बी ओके मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट हमारा आ गया वन के जीज सो आर फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन टर्न आउट टू बी एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू के एफ बस एक नेगेटिव साइन लग जाए बिकॉज इट इज फ्रीजिंग बिलो द टेम्परेचर एट विच वॉटर फ्रीजेस क्लियर चलिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके मुरारी इट्स वेरी वेरी सिंपल वॉट यू आर डूइंग इज यूर कैलकुलेटिंग द मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट कैसे कैलकुलेट करोगे वॉल्यूम ऑफ सोल्यूशन टाइम्स डेंसिटी ऑफ सोल्यूशन दैट विल गिव यू द मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन माइनस द मास ऑफ सोल्यूट विल बी द मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट न मास ऑफ सोल्यूट कितना था वन मोल ऑफ ग्लूकोज विल वे वन एटी ग्राम्स मास ऑफ सोल्यूशन आ गया था वन वन एट जीरो वन वन एट जीरो माइनस वन एटी गिवस यू वन के जी सोल्वेंट यू कैन कैलकुलेट द मोलैलिटी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस द वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ अ सोल्यूशन ऑफ अ नॉन वोलाटाइल इलेक्ट्रोलाइट बी इन अ सॉल्वेंट ए इज नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर ऑफ सॉल्वेंट at the same temperature if the molecular weight of the solvent is 0.3 times the molecular weight of solute then the weight ratio of solvent and solute is okay then the weight ratio of solvent and solute is take some time ek minute ka samay lijiye koshish kijiye solve karne ka and then please tell me the answer in the chat box i'll give you the solution to this बस क्वेश्चन काफी इजी है वेपर प्रेशर के ऊपर है दिस इज बेस्ड प्राइमरली ऑन रिलेटिव लोअरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर बताइए क्या होगा आंसर नो सागर तर्थ इट्स नॉट अ जेई एडवांस सेशन दिस इज प्राइमरली जेई मेंस लेवल सेशन Okay, the vapor pressure of solution is non-volatile B in A is ninety-five percent of vapor pressure of same temperature. So I can say P of solution is point nine five P of solvent. I can say this. Ha, the Lijie, J at aspirant, please time Lijie. P of solution is 0.95 P of solvent. So I can calculate R L V P, which is P of solvent minus P of solution by P of solvent, which is equal to mole fraction of solute. Okay. P of solvent को हम P के जैसे रख देते हैं P of solution 0.95 हो गया तो P of solvent कॉमन ले लिया वन माइनस पॉइंट नाइन फाइव अपॉन पी ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इज इक्वल टू मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सोल्यूट दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव 0.05 mole fraction of solute comes as to be 0.05 now from here onwards we need to use the second piece of information if the molecular weight of solvent is 0.3 times the molecular weight of solute then the weight ratio to dekho kaise karna hai 
मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सोल्यूट आ जाता है 0.05 पॉइंट जीरो फाइव विच वी कैन राइट विच वी कैन राइट नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट प्लस नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सॉल्वेंट ये हम लिख सकते हैं इज एंड इट ओके वी कैन राइट दिस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाउ नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट कैन बी रिटर्न एज वेट ऑफ सोल्यूट और वट यू डू इज टेक द रेसी प्रोकल सो वन अपॉन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव विल बी इक्वल टू वन प्लस नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट और नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सॉल्वेंट अपॉन नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट ओके दिस विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी ये हंड्रेड बाई वन नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सॉल्वेंट कैन बी रिटर्न एज वेट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट अपॉन मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट टाइम्स नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ सोल्यूट कैन बी रिटर्न एज वेट ऑफ सोल्यूट मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ सोल्यूट फाइन नाउ मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ सोल्यूट अब देख लीजिए यहां पे दिया गया है इफ द मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इज पॉइंट थ्री टाइम्स द मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ सोल्यूट सो मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इज पॉइंट थ्री टाइम्स दिस गेट्स कैंसल ओके सो आर final equation remains as 19 which is equal to 1 upon 0.3 times weight of solvent upon weight of solute so I have to calculate weight, weight of solvent and solute. 19.3, uh, 19 times 0.3, it will be equal to 9327 and 5.7. Answer B होना चाहिए. Answer should come as to be B. Not a difficult question, however, थोड़ा time लग जाता है आपको solve करने में. Okay? The right answer should be B. Okay, so I am taking time in solving the question because I am writing it on the board, explaining it simultaneously, but it will not take too much of time. Now, a question आपका homework के लिए है. Look at this question. It's a very beautiful question. Just uh, is que this question is homework for you guys. So uh, you can see that there are two plots. It's a phase diagram. Phase diagram में this is pressure and this is temperature axis. Remember. This was discussed earlier. This is temperature axis. This is temperature axis. Pressure versus temperature. Because this is pressure versus temperature axis, please let me know in the advance in the next session that which of these following options would be correct. So curve one is for a substance in which density of solid D represents density, and D, D density of solid is more than density of liquid. So we are comparing density of solid and liquid in this question. Okay. प्लीज ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन प्लीज ट्राई प्लीज राइट इट डाउन कर्व बनाइए सॉल्व कीजिए सेशन पी डी एफ लिंक में अवेलेबल रहते हैं प्लीज डाउनलोड दैम एंड प्लीज प्लीज ट्राई टू सॉल्व दैम बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन विल अगेन बी टेकन इन द जे एडवांस डिस्कशन सेशन सो इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इट्स सॉल्व कर लो ओके ऊपर वाला ग्राफ क्या है इसको फेस uh, डायग्राम बोलते हैं वी हैड डिस्कस दिस प्लीज डू रिव्यू Freezing point depression session to understand this plot better. Okay, freezing point depression का जो session था उसमें इस plot को discuss किया गया था उसको वापस से watch कीजिए Okay, uh, so session PDF में ये आपको मिल जाएगा Please do solve this and the next session would be on inverse trigonometric function. Pulkit sir will be taking the session and 
please do like share and subscribe our videos our channel and please do press the bell icon to be updated with all the amazing content that is going to come in future okay so we'll meet in the next session we'll discuss some advanced level questions ek bar chapter ko pad ke aaoge acha rahega theek hai chaliye this is sort of the swami signing off and i wish you all the very best for the rest of the day chaliye bye bye